Megan Quincy. Right, Quincy, break your own U18 world record. You advance to the final. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Like I, I've never been this happy a day in my life when it came to track. I mean, I've been working for this moment. That record that I broke uh, two days ago, that's 42 years. 42 years of nobody being able to break that record. And I broke it twice in two days. It means a lot to me because it knows that my hard work been paying off, staying longer after practices, before practices, just coming in there, my coaching, he's, we're there. And I'm not, I'm just excited for myself. Quincy, how much of what you're doing is hard? Oh, all of it, all of it. All I'm doing is the heart because someone that's 16 years old, they're most likely to get um, scared when they go into the big comp like competitors. Vernon, he's 32 years old. I'm 16. I'm half of his age. So I'm over. <laughs> I'm just running for my life when it comes out there. The race plan went out the window, but I knew what my coach had to tell me. But tomorrow, I have a lot of things that I can do to improve myself for tomorrow. Now that I'm in the finals, the first thing when I got off the track, my coach told me he was extremely proud of me. But he, he was telling me the things that we got to do to break down the race. He's not caught up in the moment. And with that, with that on my side, I think I have great things for tomorrow. And I can't wait for tomorrow. Last what weekend. are those things that you have to that you have to fix and clean up? You were the fourth fastest qualifier today to get onto that podium. What do you need to clean up? Um, well, I don't want to say it too much. <laughs> I'm going to let my race show tomorrow on the things that I did uh, clean up. But like you see, we're going to go back and look at the splits. And we're going to tell times right after this, right after we finish. You mentioned that, uh, that the plan kind of went out the window. What's going through your mind the last 180 or so uh, um, as you're trying to catch up? With? That's all heart. And that, and that work that I've been going through, all the days that I've been on the hills, the 300s, the back end work, all that is coming to now. I mean, I'm on the world's biggest final coming up tomorrow. And so at 16 years old, it's, I'm like ecstatic right now. Would you say today's the happiest day of your life? It's one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> you mentioned that like you're just able to stay so composed and so calm. You know, how are you able to do that at such a young age? Um, I think it's the work and being my parents being grounded, my coaches being grounded, knowing I've been in a lot of big moments, but without God being there and guiding me, he's the one that's being able to take control of all this. And I'm just letting him take me through along the ride, along the ride with me. Less nervous today or more nervous today in the call room? Uh, less nervous. I, I don't know. I don't know why, but when I get in there, I'm not really nervous. I'm more amped up. They told me I had to take off my headphones. I wasn't really used to it, but I was really amped up. If you see me in the back, I was over there bopping my house, getting locked in. So, will you be honest? Is there vibranium in that suit? Um, no, it's just me inside of it. Yeah, yeah. The Wakanda is, and we got a new uniform tomorrow on the way. What did you listen to? So, what did you listen to? What were you listening to? Oh, what was it? Listening to all different types of music. I had the gospel playing also because without him, I wouldn't be able to get here. What did the pros say to you after you run 44.59? Um, they're all, they all congratulated me because they knew, they, at that time, none of them are older than 42 years old. So, they were at once able to break that record. So they know how hard it is to break that record. So they all know that it's extremely hard. So they want to congratulate me and even say like, great job. Because I was, for them, a lot of them that was in my heat, it was either a season best, tied for a season best, or a personal best. So I was just like, I'll push them today because they didn't want to get beat by a 16 year old. So it was just like, of course they were going to run faster. When you said the race plan went out the window, what was the race plan and how did it go around? Um, well, I don't really want to say what the race plan was because that's just me, but I had a lot of different things that I want to work on from the previous race to improve my time. And I did a little bit of that and you just keep doing that. Those milliseconds in time come off. And today I was about 0.1 second off, um, 0.1 off of what I ran on uh, Saturday, Friday, yeah. Friday. Yeah, one of the days. How are you gonna fall asleep tonight? Like, How am I gonna 10? fall asleep? I'm probably about to go right, get some food from the New Balance house and go straight to sleep because I got a big day tomorrow. That is probably gonna be the biggest final that I've ever, no, it is the biggest final I've ever been in. How's your body feel physically coming off the 44 in the pre -work? Oh, it felt amazing. Like I said, I'm 16 years old. I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even feel anything, but I didn't like, it wasn't really anything. The trainers over there at the USATF, they're amazing. So I'm just gonna keep going over to them and keep working on my legs to get ready for tomorrow. What did you make of the ovation you got uh, during the intro? Um, the intro, it was amazing. I just want the, uh, the, the crowd to keep it um, uh, hyping me up. But also, I looked around when they did it, and I seen Vernon behind me and Bryce Denman. It kind of fired them up. So I was just like, I don't know, you may want to calm it down. But no, I love it. Who do you think you're driving Um, Right now, it's going to be, if I make it on the team tomorrow, we never know. I'll never know because I can't, I can't take the classes because you have to take three weeks. So. 
I, I don't know when I'm gonna get my driver's license at this point. And I can't right now because I'm not 16 in nine months. So I just turned 16 actually. So, so Princey, when you, when you turn and you're in fifth place there, like what's going through your mind? you remember what you were thinking um, when you saw? Stay calm, 100% stay calm. I didn't get out the way I wanted to, but like my coach said, everybody, the race starts at 300. If you look at Vernon's interviews, he says, I'm gonna see you at 300. So we've seen it all, we've seen him at 300. So it was a great race. Um, I just mean coming up from fifth to third. It means a lot, it means a lot of training. Cause if you look at me, I'm not as strong. But that's 100% heart inside. What do you like about this sport? Why do I like this sport? It's the most competitive sport in my opinion. This, cause you're, you're running for yourself. There's nobody else that can, you're not, it's not a team sport. And I love team sports, but it's competitive. You one-on-one, -on -one, who's the best? If someone's better than you, you can prove it on the track. So that's what I love about this sport. Thank you. Thanks, Quincy.